<laughs> Finally, the end of another week. Uh, well, I was thinking about UW again and um, all the things that happened there. All the nostalgia, the, the look on the locals' faces, the rice and beans, the Pepto Bismol juice, the construction. The kitchen, the VBS, jam packed full of kids. When all those things come back to me, I just think and remember about just how good God is and how God can really use people like us to do great things for Him. Even though we had signed up, I kind of feel that it is God that really brought us all there for one reason or another. Had he brought us there that we can help ourselves and help and help create ourselves in who we are. The simple act of taking a cold shower or having to take bucket showers and sleep outside, um, getting out of your comfort zone, it can really give you a sort of humility to appreciate what you really have and that's something that uh that always seems to come to me as something to be treasured always so one thing I can say I learned is contentment which is being happy with the things I have and not really desiring it anything much more but um I'm just really excited uh, because the next UW is coming up uh, jump starts just a few days away, and uh, even though I don't get to go or I can't go, um, I'm still excited for that because then we'll find out where we're going this year. And it's only going to be maybe about six months away, so I'm I'm still very excited. But wherever um, they're going this year, I just I'm just really praying that the Lord will use me and that the Lord will use those that return. I just want to share. A quick verse. It comes from First Peter, it's chapter two, and I'm just going to read through verses one through ten. It says, So put away all malice and all deceit and all hypocrisy and all envy and slander. Like newborn infants, long for the pure spiritual milk, that by it you may grow up into salvation. If indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good, as you come to him, a living stone rejected by men, but in the sight of God, chosen and precious, you yourselves will you yourselves like living stones are being built up as a spiritual house. To be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ, for it stands in Scripture, Behold I am laying in Zion a, a stone. A cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. So the honor is for you who believe, but for those who do not believe. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. They stumble because they disobey the word, as they were destined to do. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. A people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you received mercy. And it ends right there. And uh, it just really makes me think about, um, I guess, our shared experiences there. Specifically, the Rosita site, which was, um, which was, I think, was a great experience. I could give countless stories on on all the things that went down there and um, all the good things that God has done for us. But as we look forward to going back, I'm just praying that we'll remember all the old things and um, be more excited to do more work for Christ because there's a dignity that comes to laboring for him I mean 
some people got sent out of there because their parents want wanted them to some of them went there on their own will and some of them went out there because they thought it was a vacation I mean for me honestly I think it was a working vacation so I, I guess I kinda got both I wasn't really mm, I wasn't very surprised by the things that came except for the 22 hour bus ride I mean I think I might have read it in the description but I might have just overlooked it um, but yeah all is done it was endured it still feels like yesterday I was there just really hoping that uh, God will use the people that he sends down there again for his will and for his glory and that um, many people may even come to repentance because of the trip or that they may see the Bible in a different light and that they may grow from the experience I guess that's the key word is to grow not to diminish but yeah I just I just still can't stop talking about um, or still thinking about UW um, I've had a few little dreams here and there about the next one but I'm not really gonna get into that so whether it's Ecuador Dominican Republic Panama um, I mean I guess wherever God sends us that place will go some people like it for the people that they saw there or for the just the experience but I just like everything as a whole there's a certain thing that uh, that follows when you go to a place and you go to help people you not only get you not only get a blessing from helping them they get a blessing for the things that you contribute to them because of what we did we basically gave four or more churches to to maybe an entire village or to hundreds of others and potentially even thousands of people because we went there and because we because we stuck out like sore thumbs going to going to the towns that we went to which usually weren't visited we were able to play games um, with the locals and with the kids and put smiles on their faces because when when we had gotten there they were very uh, shame faced and very uh, sad looking yeah it's it's really uh, it's really not what we saw when we went there but what we don't see and how God is working through and for the things that we did for those people so that's all I have to say God bless you.